What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all new Star Wars video, this week with some massive updates, hints, and clues about probably the biggest mystery figure in the new Star Wars trilogy, Supreme Leader Snoke. This week saw not one, not two, but three major hints about his character and identity, from some newly leaked Lego minifigures that promptly completely disappeared from the internet, a clarification about his species from Pablo Hidalgo, and a new fan theory making the rounds. First up though, let's start with the minifigures, and we can't actually show you any of the leaked images from these last Jedi LEGO sets because we don't have them, and I don't joke when I say that they've been taken down just about everywhere they went up. Even if we did have them, we wouldn't be able to show them because LEGO is swinging the copyright hammer around pretty hard these days, but we've linked to a pretty thorough description of the sets in the video's description down below. While three sets are described, and if you're an enthusiast, be sure to hit that link for all of those details, we're only interested in the first one. Reportedly, it's a First Order Star Destroyer and features several stormtroopers, a black painted First Order BB unit, and of course, the Supreme Leader himself. It's our first look yet at Kylo's mysterious master from The Last Jedi, and even more generally, kind of in the flesh, or I guess the plastic itself. And interestingly enough, Snoke is described as wearing a yellow robe, but that's about the only word we have on his costume. But speaking of that, even more interesting is the fact that this seems to confirm previous reports from detailed leaks about Snoke's appearance in the film and his headquarters. Leaked details that emerged back in March suggested his appearance would be very different from what we saw of him in The Force Awakens, living in massive wealth and opulence with a gold or yellow robe as it's described here and wearing tons of jewelry. That seems to be confirmed with this description, as well as his previously reported Mobile Command Center headquarters actually being a First Order Star Destroyer, sometimes referred to in the leaks as the Mega Destroyer. These leaked sets were picked up so widely around the web and taken down so quickly it's hard to doubt their authenticity, and the sets haven't even been announced yet, which is why LEGO reacted so swiftly in trying to cleanse all traces of the leaks from the web. But beyond the Legos, we also had more information in the form of a clarification from Lucasfilm Story Group member Pablo Hidalgo, who shed some interesting light on the character of Snoke that was kind of in plain sight the entire time pointing to a passage from the official novelization of The Force Awakens, which refers to Snoke as humanoid but not human, Hidalgo says the line was very deliberate and is confirmed canon as of being published. This does a massive number on more than a few fan theories out there, from the Anakin Skywalker clone theory to the ever popular Mace Windu rumor, or even the idea that somehow Sheev survived his fall into the Death Star's reactor core. With the confirmation that Snoke's an alien, what race is he exactly? Well, short answer, we have no idea for sure. Sure, some will be quick to point out that he might be a moon, in line with the Pelagius theory, but odds are he's of a race that we haven't seen yet. But that question of where he comes from might have a kinda sorta answer too as of this week, if a new theory holds true, that Snoke is actually from the Unknown Regions. The Unknown Regions are the area of space outside the galaxy's outer rim. They're largely uncharted and unexplored, and traveling there is perilous just largely due to the fact that very few hyperspace routes have ever been charted beyond known space. But according to Chuck Wendig's Aftermath novels, the remainder of the Imperial fleet fled into that uncharted territory after the Emperor's death, in line with Palpatine's own protocols. It's also interesting to note Snoke wasn't with them when they journeyed into the Unknown Regions, suggesting they very probably found him there. That's about all the new Snoke info we have for you, though. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw. Subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.